Today, I'm gonna to show you how to get the best card set in Lost Ark if you are a new or returning player. And I'm sure if you are, then you've heard, oh yeah, cards are important, collect these, collect those, or maybe you don't even know what the heck card sets do. So today, I'm gonna to kinda of go into that just a bit and tell you why this one is so hype. And it came with the Witcher event, which is a really cool event all in of itself, but I'm gonna be mainly talking about the importance of this card set and how easy it is to get and how much it can benefit you right now until you get some of the later in-game card sets like the Lost Wing Cliff set or the Live Salvation set. So let's go ahead and get into it. How do you even start getting these cards? Well, I'm gonna show you. So you can go to any major city and you are going to notice that there's a little pink exclamation mark um, somewhere in one of the cities and the mission is gonna say event mysterious whirlpool so let's go ahead and investigate and after talking to this person we are going to go to the white wolf's haven which is going to be in Vern or just outside of Vern. so let's go ahead and sail to the white wolf's haven once you're here you're going to follow a very simple simple quest line once you get here you will notice that this quest it actually is like a looping quest there's multiple steps to it which is why there's like this loop here and this there is the are. thank you Gerald this is the first quest that you will start to gather those cards and it's one out of five and you can do one of these per day so as you can see yes let's eat all right let's go let's do it so you can see that this first part of the quest the festival cooking panic you get that Gerald card baby that's the first card and you get some you know stickers and stuff but we're just here for the card Except, thank you very much. And now we are here at the end of this oh, quest. Give me those rewards. Boom. Okay. So we got Geralt of Rivia. Yes, I want to register it, which that brings me to another point is if you only have a couple cards to register or it says your card deck is full, then you'll just go to your card catalog here. You'll go over to enhance, scroll all the way down. Oh, geez. Scroll down until you have expand catalog slots and you have to click on it and they cost blue crystals yes but it's worth it so expand it boom um, i know i'm gonna need some anyways because this card set is five cards and we added it already but now what you're going to do is come back to this island once per day and do another quest that is continuing from this quest line because as you can see there is no other quest on this island yet but tomorrow there will be another quest. So that is how you complete this card set. It's very easy. There's no investment time really. Just a really, I don't even think a couple of hours total to get all of this done. So it's extremely good. And I'm about to tell you why. Traditionally, at the beginning of your journey, you are gonna be trying to get the field boss set here, which gives you HP, which is a very good bonus, right? Having extra hit points is always good but it doesn't really do anything for you offensively, it doesn't give you any shields, anything like that. Now, what this Witcher set does is once you get the five card sets and you, of course, you activate them in your card set um, menu, then what you're gonna get is you're gonna get max HP plus 2%, max HP plus 3%, and then you are going to get the chance every 20 seconds to proc one of these three abilities. You're gonna be able to have extra attack and move speed for 8% uh, for 8 seconds. You're going to get attack power plus 6% for 8 seconds, which is almost half of a level 3 curse doll engraving, which is fantastic. Or you're going to get a shield that is equal to 8% of your HP for 8 seconds. These three things are really good over the course of a fight. All three of them are very, very good buffs. And the coolest thing about this is that it says the cooldown is 20 seconds, but that doesn't happen after this buff has ended. This cooldown timer starts as soon as it procs. For example, if you hit the boss and this procs, this Yurden or Igni or Quinn, let's just let's just do this. Let's put a timer on it, right? I'm gonna hit him. It procced Igni. 6% attack power. That's huge, by the way. Now all I have to do is wait until 20 seconds again, and it's going to proc. That's the coolest thing about this. So your downtime for this buff is only 12 seconds. So basically half of the fight, you are going to have one of these three buffs active, which is freaking sick. So see, I'm gonna hit it, boom, it's back up. You're, now I get attack move speed. And 8%, 
that's a holy yearning set buff which is a support buff which you might not even know about yet but that's huge that's a that's a lot of attack and move speed especially for some classes they feel really good with that so this is a very very comprehensive very good card set especially at the beginning and middle parts of the game because usually you would be immediately aiming to try to get the 12 piece awakening for your lost one cliff set which by the way it still takes a long time and i still don't even have this on my alternate account which i have two 1475 characters on that and two 1445 characters and i still don't have this freaking 12 piece awakening so it takes a while and it really depends on what your class is you might not even use lost wing cliff and this card set the witcher card set might still do more damage uh, in fact, my time to hunt Gunslinger actually did more damage with the Witcher set than it did with the Lost Wing Cliff set because it doesn't rely on that crit rate. I already have a plenty of crit built into the class already, so it didn't really help me out. So this would actually be more beneficial and it would only take five days to get and five little missions. Okay, it's super, super simple. Um, so at that point, if your class does not rely on crit rate and it's not going to be starving for that seven percent then this is likely an even better option especially if you already you know kind of know the fight and the reason i say that is because the lost wing cliff does give dark damage reduction i'm not even sure at which gates in every legion raid that the bosses are doing all dark damage um, so, you know, most people don't really use it for that dark damage reduction. They're using it for the crit rate because at the end of the day, if you're not getting hit, then damage reduction doesn't matter, right? So, um, as you learn the fight, this is going to, this reduction buff for you is going to become much less important. And that crit rate is really the thing that stands out. But again, if your class doesn't need and isn't starving for that 7%, then this car set is likely going to be just fine and it's going to be 100% acceptable so that is why this car set can be so powerful it can totally eradicate the need for this lost wing cliff set so go out get it please i want to make this public service announcement so you do not miss this chance because it is a limited time this event is not going to be here forever so make sure and capitalize get this freaking card set you will not regret it if you learned something in this video go ahead and hit that like button it's free and it really helps me out. And if you like this content, then consider subscribing because there's gonna be a lot more of it on the way. But guys, let me know where you're at with your card set collection. If you already have Lost Wind Cliff, if you already have Light of Salvation, if you really need to get this Witcher card set because you don't have either one of those and you might not even have the Field Boss set yet. So let me know where you're at and I will see you on the next video.